This is a video about installing Mac OS X Panther on the iBook G4. And in order to do that, I've actually bought myself some Panther DVDs. These are originally meant for the PowerBook G4, but those are pretty much equally spec'd. So in theory, this should work just fine. The OS version on this DVD, or on these DVDs, I must say, is 10.3.3. And, uh, you know, let's just break the seal here and get it this out of there. There we go. So this is DVD 1, as you can see, PowerBook T4, software installation disk, Mac OS version 10.3.3. Just put it in, press C, and wait for the magic to happen. So this video is done from different part of the house for once. Gonna hear it in the dark corner. Of the house, so I'll bring up some more lighting here. On both sides because we can. Isn't that looking sharp? I think it does. Alrighty, let's just put up the iBook here. Pop in the disk and hold down C. And if I'm correct, it will boot from the CD ROM. Okay, now, now uh, all we can do is wait. I'm going through the whole installation, so sit back, this might be a long video. <laughs> this particular iBook G4 is currently running OS 10, 10 5, 8 Leopard. But you know, it's not the fastest OS in the world, not for this early 2004 model with only 1 gigahertz G4. The RAM is maxed out at 1.25 gig, so that's not a problem, but, you know, it could benefit from a little less resource-intensive operating system for sure. And that's where Panther comes in. Alright, we're here to select the language. I'm just going to prefer to use Dutch, just because I can. When it's supported, I pick that, so. So yeah, as you can see there, that's the nice Apple logo for OS X. So this is all going just fine so far. Okay, we can continue there. Let's see, these are the minimum requirements. You need to have PowerPC G3, G4, G5 CPU. 15 USB, 128 megs of RAM, and 2 gigs of hard disk space. We don't need no firmware on this particular iBook because it's the latest. And we can continue. These iBook G4s are, you know, originally shipped with 10.3.2, so anything older than that won't even boot properly. I found. So I've got 10.3.3 here on disk. Yes, I will agree with this license terms. Here's the hard drive. It's an 80 gig. So 52 gigs free. I'm just going to have to format it. Remove and install. Back OS extended journal. And we can continue. And install. I was just going to check the disk. I'm pretty sure these discs are fine, because there was not a single scratch on them. They weren't ever used, so... That's quite amazing, really. These are quite old discs, but, you know... They are literally unused. And I got them for pretty cheap, too. I mean, these Panther discs are running for... Quite a lot of money these days. Because they're getting rare. And this is the DVD release, so that's really useful. I was just checking everything it needs to install. So 
So far it's behaving just fine. My photo even. Wow. My calendar I sync. And there will still be a lot of stuff to uh, remove with XSlimmer when it's done. Just simply because, uh, well, you can always slim it down. OS 10 is usually pretty sluggish, so I need to do a lot of updating on this thing to get it to 10.3.9 so I can use it on the Wi Fi network here. Because 10.3.3 uh, does not support WPA2, 10.3.9 does, so that's good. I was just preparing all the languages Korean, Norwegian, Swedish, Brazilian. Chinese. <laughs> I don't know why it's going through all the languages. I don't even need those, but yeah, I'll remove them as soon as I can. So just a quick tour around the iBook. Battery's charging properly. It's looking like a mess. You can see how scratched up this particular iBook is. This is really one beat up laptop. I don't know what the previous owner did to it. You know, it's still in the current state as when I bought it. I haven't actually made this thing any worse, so. No scratching there. But you know, internally, this thing is absolutely mint. It still works perfectly. Built in a new hard drive. It came with a 15 gig, which is just preposterous. And I replaced it with an 80 gig, which is. You know, a lot bigger and works fine. The 15 gig left a lot to be desired. If you installed OS X Leopard on it, you only had like, I don't know, maybe 9 gigs free. And that was when I slimmed the whole thing down. So, there is an indication of time and how long this is going to take. You can clearly see there, it says remaining time. About 23 minutes. Now that's a long time. So I might actually not film the whole thing. You know, I'm just going to let it install here. And when it's done, I'll be coming back. I'll show you how it was 10 Panther runs in this thing. I think it's going to fly. Because quite frankly, the requirements for OS 10 Leopard are quite a bit higher. Tiger even requires like 256. This requires 128 in terms of RAM. And uh, Leopard is 512 even, so. You know, for a machine that can only take up to 1.25 gigs, the OS requiring 512 is quite steep. Hmm, it went ahead of me. Ain't that a shame? Eh. Mm, you know what? No. Let's go with the American keyboard. Mm, no Apple idea. No thank you. Hmm. Okay, I guess I have to fill this out. That's fine, I'll be right back. Alright. I've got that shit filled out. Ready to connect. Well, that's going to take a while. Search for later. I don't want my email there. Cupertino, United States. Hmm. That's sharp. Let's try to change that. Oh, it ain't eating that. Okay. Let's see if we collect this manually. Almost. Amsterdam, there we go. It's 1976. Mm hmm. Is that so? Last time I checked was 2013. Let's see, it's not the 6th of April, it's April 9th. Current time is way off. Fuck that. Uh, okay, save. 
continue. Finish. Yes. Frick, I'm finally. There's a lot of stuff you have to go through to get Panther running. Ah, there we go. Mm hmm. Bunch of readmes. Powerbook software. Well, there's an iBook. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Mac OS 10. Let me step you that. There we go. One, uh, 107 gigs of PowerPC G4, 125 gigs of DDRs, DRAM. One thing I gotta do is get the appropriate uh, updates for this particular machine on this OS. Get the OS itself updated. Very important as well. Let's get the camera a little bit less blurry. So there's a lot I still have to do to get this thing up to speed. But it uh, does seem to get iPhoto, at least that's for free. Resbook, iChat, Mail, iMovie even. You even got iMovie for free. Let's see it up, season preferences. That came out pretty quickly. Let's see, okay. So many good colors, it's okay. Okay, Bluetooth's working, everything is fine. Alrighty. So we can't go online yet. We have an ancient version of iTunes. Let's just flip open. Alright, that opened quickly. That was fast. That was really fast. Okay, so let's turn it off now. Didn't this thing need some update? And I need to do some more important stuff on this. So yeah, this is a good time to end the video. Close her down. Hope you enjoyed this video of me installing OS 10 Panther on the iBook G4. And I thank you all for watching.